Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you a feature selection using select by attribute in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So in this video, we will use an attribute value to perform a selections instead. Instead of using this uh, selection option here, selection tool here. So now here you can able to visualize from our table of content section here. So we have three different layers. The first layer represents the populated places, followed by the second layer represents the countries layer and third one is our states and province layer. So first we're going to use our populated place layer to perform a selection uh, by select by attribute. So now navigate to this option here, the map section here. In that we're going to use this particular option called select by attributes. So now let me click this option called select by attributes. So let me drag this and place it here. So now let me place this uh, select by attribute window here. So now here in the input row, uh, we're going to select our populated place. So now uh, let me uh, switch to uh, a list by selection view of the content uh, pan here. You can uh, able to see that so that we can see how many features uh, are selected in each layer. So for that, we're going to click this option called uh, select by list by selection. So now we are back to the select by attribute window here. So I'm going to uh, leave it as the default for the selection type to be a new selection. And now I will click this option called new expression. So now let me uh, click this. So now the new expression has been, uh, we're going to uh, create a new expression here. So now in the FID, we're going to select this particular field called uh, ADMO cap. So we're going to select this field here, which is equals to so now uh, we have selected in this option as, uh, as equals to and we're going to uh, select this particular value called one here. And this field uh, tells uh, that tells me whether a place is a, a capital of a country. So once you selected your field uh, ADMO cap uh, is equals to one, we're going to apply and click OK. So and uh, on our map, we can see the capital cities of each country is selected here. You can able to see here the highlighted one indicates the the capital uh, cities of each countries. So now uh, to see the names of those uh, 200 uh, capital cities. So I can uh, use this option here attributes. So let me click this. So now here you can able to visualize the pop the places here the capitals of each country is being indicated here. You can able to see that you can go through this. Uh, you selected all the capitals of the country capital cities of the country so now uh, to remove this particular expression here so you can able to see we have selected this expression called ADMO cap is equals to one so to remove this ex uh, uh, this expression we're gonna click this option called remove claw and now well, let me create a new expression uh, this time uh, I will look for the places where the population uh, maximum is uh, greater than or equals to 1 million so for that, we're going to click this option here. We're going to add a new expression here. So we're going to select a field called population maximum. So pop max. So let me select this option field called pop max. So we're going to select as a, is a greater than or equals to 1 million. So now let me enter the value here. So now I've uh, entered a created new expression with the population maximum field is greater than or equals to 1 million. So now let us run this, click OK. So now here you can able to see that we can see that uh, there are 500 places, uh, 505 places with a population greater than or equals to 1 million. So you are currently looking at the places where the population is, uh, is greater than or equals to 1 million. So now uh, I will look for the places where the population maximum is uh, greater than or equals to 5 million or the place is the capital the capital uh, city of the country. So now we are back to our select by attribute window here. So now I will change this uh, 1 million to 5 million. So I'm going to change to 1 million to 5 million. And after that, we're going to uh, click this uh, option called add clause. We're going to click this. And now uh, I'm going to join uh, the two uh, expressions here by using the that is uh, we're going to join this two clause uh, by using an or operator. We're going to select or operator here. So once you did that, we're going to select a field called uh, uh, ADMO cap, that is a uh, capital of each country. And uh, we're going to click this equals equals to 
and here we're gonna click this uh, value called one here so ADM work capital is equals to one and uh, if you're wondering uh, what the underlying in uh, the SQL expression is like then uh, we can uh, use this option here uh, click this option called SQL we're gonna click this option and now you can uh, able to view the SQL expression here the population maximum is greater than or equals to 5 million or uh, the ADM work capital of each country is equals to 1 so now let me turn this off here so now I'm gonna click OK here so now uh, you can able to see in the table of content section here we can see that there is a uh, 229 places uh, that are either the capital city of the country or they have the population uh, have the population of uh, 5 million or more so you can able to see from this uh, the map view here all the places have got highlighted with the capital of the city and uh, either the population is greater than 5 million and now uh, to see how many places uh, meets both the criteria that is the capital of the city as well as the population is greater than 5 million so for that we can change the or statement uh, or operator to an uh, and operator so now to see uh, how many places meets both the criteria we can change the or operator to an uh, and operator so now let's run this uh, click this option called ok so now here you can able to see only a few places have got highlighted here so the selected around 23 places here so now uh, to see that we're gonna click this option here attributes so now here you can able to uh, see the selections here so we got 23 places got selected so to give you an idea of uh, what we can do with the layer that has a subset of uh, its selected features so for that we're gonna navigate to our geoprocessing pane here we're gonna click this geoprocessing and we're gonna search by the tool called buffer so we have already we have the buffer tool here so we're gonna click this so now we're gonna click this uh, tool called buffer which is an analysis tool here So now I'm going to create a new feature class to show me where the globe I could be standing water and uh, be within a thousand kilometer of a place uh, which is both the capital of the country and has uh, more than 5 million of population. So now in the input feature we're going to select our uh, the populated places. I'm going to select populated places. So now let me choose my output file location. So now I have, uh, have entered the name as place buffer of thousand kilometer. I'm going to click save. And now I will set my distance buffer. Uh, I will set my uh, distance for my buffer to be thousand kilometers. So now I have entered my distance. Uh, let me set my uh, uh, set the units to in kilometers. And uh, for the method, uh, I will use a geodesic so that the shape of the buffer gets preserved at uh, different uh, latitudes. So now let me select uh, in the method. I will select geodesic. And next, uh, I'm going to set the dissolve type to be uh, dissolve all features into a single feature. So now I'm going to select dissolve all output features into a single feature. And this means that uh, there will be uh, only one row in the attribute table of our new feature class. So now let me run this uh, tool here. I'm going to click run. And now we have our uh, buffer. So now uh, in the table of content section, uh, I'm go I will use the list by drawing order view to turn off the places so that uh, we can see the buffer. So now let me turn off my uh, uh, populated places. So now in the geoprocessing uh, window here, uh, below where uh, it tells us the buffer has completed. So I'm going to click this option here, open history. And now I'm going to click this. And uh, this history lists the tool that we have run in order, starting with the most recent on the top here. You can able to see that. And now uh, I'm going to double click on the top uh, layer of the select uh, layer by attribute to load uh, the tool uh, and the parameter values uh, we use uh, with it in the last time. So I'm going to click this. And now here in the input row, we're going to change the uh, layer here. We're going to select our uh, countries layer. We're going to select the countries layer. And uh, we have a comment saying that the fields did not match. So now I'm going to remove this uh, whole expression here. I'm going to click this option called remove expression. And now we're going to create a new expression where the continent uh, is equal to Africa. So to create that expression, we have to click this option called add clause. 
So now to do that, we're gonna click on this FID here. The field, uh, we're gonna select the field called continent. So now this is our field called continent and this equals to, and now here we have selected as equals to and uh, in this uh, option here in the continent, we're gonna select this particular continent called Africa. So selected continent is equals to Africa. So now we're gonna run this tool, click this option called run. And uh, we have our layer here. That is our select by attribute has been completed here. And now I will turn on the country's uh, layer here uh, to see that the selection was made uh, even through the layers was not visible when uh, when the tool was run. So I'm gonna click this turn on, I'm gonna turn on this country's layer here. So now we can able to see that the African continent has been selected. And now I'm going to uh, add my South American uh, countries to my selection. So to do that, we're gonna navigate to our uh, select by select uh, layer by attribute uh, tool here. We're gonna change the selection selection tag to be add to the current uh, selection. And in the expression uh, here, we're gonna change the African uh, uh, country continent to uh, South America. And now we're gonna click run. So you can able to see here the South American uh, selected. The continent got selected here and uh, if you want to uh, copy the selected countries out into a new feature class and now to do that we're gonna navigate to our countries layer here and we're gonna right click and uh, we're gonna click this option called data and we're gonna click this option called export features so now let me select my output location here so now I'm gonna enter the name as African and uh, South, Africa, South American countries so now I have entered the name as African and South, Africa, South American uh, countries. So now we're going to click OK. So let me uh, rename this. Let me select this particular folder here and we're going to click OK. And now we can enter our output name here. So now I have entered as African, South, uh, South American countries. And now we're going to click OK. So now we have created our new uh, layer called Africa, Africa and South American countries. And you can able to see the output is automatically added to our map using our using the same symbol as for the uh, countries. So now let me change the color of this particular uh, layer here. So I'm going to change to green. So now we can able to clearly view that. So now uh, let me clear the selection here. So in this video I have shown you a selection a feature selection uh, using select by attribute in rgis pro so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like